Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, we are working on the lid. The lid is one of the things that can make or break a project. Uh, the lid is one of the focal points and if it looks out of place, then the whole project looks out of place. On the other hand, if the lid looks sexy, then you're more inclined to be drawn to that particular piece of furniture and, you know, use it in your house. I'm gonna demonstrate on a much smaller scale with this jewelry box. Construction is solid cherry. We have beautiful hand cut uh, finger joints and for the lid I have used a completely contrasting wood of the maple burl and you can see all the swirliness to it as well as the different coloration which completely contrast the cherry look. Now, when we had the ages of craft shows and I was displaying this to prospective customers, everybody was drawn to it. Everybody came, they wanted to touch it and feel it. So everybody was drawn to it. So this is a proof that the lid is just as important as the rest of the project. Similarly, for the blanket box that I'm doing, I wanted to make sure that the lid is just as sexy and the customer is going to be happy to have the furniture in their house. So I gathered a bit more information and the client mentioned that it will be placed beside a bay window and the frame of the bay window is oak. And just like that, I got the idea of creating a oak pattern on top of it. And oddly enough, roughly at around the same time last year, I created a project, the uh, piano bench that had a diamond pattern on uh, on the top of it and here it is on the screen. Now the piano bench was completely made out of oak uh, including the uh, the whole construction, the legs and the box. Uh, so it was very easy to combine the oak pattern with the rest of the oak furniture but now the whole uh, blanket box is made with birch plywood and birch hardwood so how am I going to combine the oak and the birch? Well, it's kind of like your frame. So I'm going to have the pattern on the top and then around it I'm going to have a two centimeter frame that will be made out of birch so that way it will blend the two woods and we're going to have the top oak and then everything else is flowing into the birch. So I'm going to get set to it and I had to figure out now how much uh, oak do I need. Uh, I've decided to use oak plywood uh, or oak veneer, sorry, I'm going to use the oak veneer for that whole purpose. Uh, so that way I can have that stability of the Baltic birch plywood uh, as a nice whole long sheet and on top of it I'm going to glue the oak veneer. And I need to figure out how much of it I need. And for that, I am going into Blender. And let's first check the, uh, the whole drawing, uh, just to give you an idea of the thought process. So this is the lid as we look at it from the top. And let me go into edit mode. So there is that two centimeter gap or frame that I mentioned and that gave me the inside dimensions. Well, let's do a little bit of cleanup so we can focus only on the lid. So there is the two centimeter border that I have uh, mentioned earlier and everything else would be the oak pattern. So as we know the diamond is in four quadrants as we can see from here. So these represent the, that cross here represents the four quadrants and these are the dimensions of them. Um, so now that I know the dimensions, I need to figure out how much uh, veneer I need. And for that, I created a, uh, this little diagram right here and I'll get rid of the lid. So, and let me go into edit mode. In here and here. And this is what we have. This is the one quadrant of the, uh, of the whole pattern. And to fill that one quadrant with uh, veneer, my veneer 
and at, uh, this is a 30 degree angle by, by the way so to fill that particular quadrant with a veneer at 30 degree angle this is basically the amount of veneer that I need so roughly I calculated it to two square feet and I know I'm kind of deviating from my centimeters but the wood store sells everything into square feet so I had to convert to square feet so uh, that's what it comes down to so roughly two square feet of veneer per quadrant uh, so I went I got the veneer it's right here so let's see how the whole process goes now before we go into the actual work let me show you how easy it is to go into blender and change your units and come up with your square footage or square meters easily uh, this is our uh, diagram that we saw earlier i've already clicked on the amount of veneer that i need and i can also click right here that says area and that tells me that i need roughly 1600 square centimeters of veneer what i can do now is go into units and quickly change it to feet and i'm getting 1.72 feet which is the two feet that i mentioned earlier i kind of rounded it up so that it's a lot easier to roll off the tongue and if i want i can simply switch it to meters so it's pretty easy to negotiate all the measuring scales using a CAD software. So now that we have this little tip, let's go and do some actual work.
And for the big reveal, ta-da! <laughs> and this is it. This is the look and feel of the lid. Like I said, the pattern and the frame. And then that transitions nicely into the birch wood. Uh, I'm gonna call it quits for today. I mean, I still have to sand and stain and attach it to the remainder, but that's gonna be material for another video. In the meantime, if you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also, follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on Patreon. All the links are down in the description.